Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to look at Dawn of Battle, designed by Mike Nagel and published by Worthington. This is a Kickstarter that just started arriving, um, if you're watching this video when it was uploaded. Um, covers ancient combat, I believe, up through the Middle Ages. Um, and if I remember correctly, um, it may be based on a system that Mike Nagel did for VPG, Victory Point Games. Um, I have no experience with it whatsoever, so I think that's just what I read. But, you know, knowing Worthington and being a big fan of these ancient style games, I definitely had to had to take a look at this one. So Dawn of Battle, as usual, is a big, thick, heavy box. Take a look at it here. And we'll get this plastic off for you guys, too, so you can see without the glare. Card based. I believe there's no dice involved. I think it's I know. Hey, 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 don't go anywhere, guys. You never card based. It's OK. It's a thing, right? Flip a card instead of rolling dice. Just, I know, I know, stay with me here. Dawn of Battle is a hex encounter war game allowing players to refight historical battles from 1500 BC to 1500 CE or 3000 years of combat. Players take the roles of the great commanders of history, including Xerxes, Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Saladin, and William Wallace. Game system is straightforward and action packed. As players depend upon the quality of their army's leadership to provide activation points, allowing them to maneuver their armies and strike against the enemy. The better an army's command, the more flexibility it has to move, rally, and attack. Game complexity looks at medium, medium-ish, medium towards high. Um, Solitaire suitability is listed as low. I think, though, they were saying it actually does solo well, so we'll see, though. Um, you know me, I play my game solo, so we'll find out. But in the meantime, let's open her up. Yeah, this is one that I uh, kick-started myself back... I think my blade's getting a little, a little dull here. Um, way back when I first heard about it, I was like, listen, what? Ancients, combat, you can play multiple, like, years, eras, whatever, in one game. Sign me up. So, you guys know I'm a fan of Ancients games. So, hopefully there's a bunch of scenarios on the uh, Roman Empire in particular, Roman Republic, Roman Empire, because it's kind of my passion. All right. Dawn of Battle. All right, nice, thick, heavy box course at worthington it, the quality at this point you're, you're gonna expect the best if it's not i'll comment but trust me it's it's good and good here all right rule book on top you already see it's gonna be in color not a long rule book so 20 pages total and this you can see that it looks like there's uh design notes or designing historical scenarios map setup so Maybe the actual rules design your own scenarios. I'm just trying to see how long the actual rule book is for the regular rules. It looks like maybe 16, 16 or so pages, 16 and a half for the regular rules here. Take a look through them. Again, color. There we go. You can see the units, the combat units, army leaders, the action cards. I said it is card based. All the different types of units. Beautiful. All in full color, explained. Sequence of play. Player actions looks pretty, pretty straightforward. Areas that are highlighted for notes, movement, example of facing. Okay, so this, there's facing in this game. Okay, um, just for reference, I'm pretty big fan of. If you guys haven't seen it on my channel already, simple great battles of history. Again, like I said, I love um, love ancient games. Rally, rally example. Melee combat, size ratios, okay, leadership adjustment, exertion, clash shields, oh. So there's gonna be some rules to this. It's not gonna be totally just like fluff. Um, you're gonna, it looks like you're gonna have some chrome here. You're gonna have some good stuff, so good, good, good. Um, when it comes to the Great Battles of History, I love the system overall. I just love the fact, maybe it's just because I love um, ancients and everything, but I do prefer simple Great Battles of History just because I think, feel like the fully leaded Great Battles is a little, a little big. Scenario book, volume one, so potential for more in the future. I know the designers mentioned that anyway, so I think their goal is basically just kind of pump out uh, additional, like, I think, talk about maybe terrain tiles in the next edition, something like that, so which we'll get to the components here in a second, the rest of the components. Yep, so we can run through different scenarios. And, you know, just so you can see, so... Achaemenid Persians versus Egypt, 525 BC. You can see the different sides, and you can see where they're set up on the map. Thapsus, Second Andrianople, 
Interesting. Okay, oh yeah, so I'm still tons of scenarios up through. Like it's already have Crusader battles here, so all kinds of good stuff. So it'll have your units, and then it'll have a setup map. I'm oh, sorry, let me back it up a little bit so you guys can kind of see. See that pretty well? Good. All right, very nice. It's pretty simple enough. Have our chart. Charts here, looks like a couple of them. A couple of, uh, so we have combat modifiers. See the units. I like combat results for the card. Attacking unit, defending unit, clash of shields table. Very cool. Oh, it's a nice thick card stop play by the way, if you couldn't tell. And on the back here you can see arc of fire, front of unit, some different elephant effects, action cards, dice color key. Oh, dice, oh, there we go. So maybe there is dice, I thought there wasn't. I thought it was all card based, I don't know. But I haven't played the game, so we'll find out. And so you get two of them. So obviously it is a two player game, although I'll be playing it solitaire. Oh, here we go. Let's start looking at these units. Oh my gosh. All right, so, all right, so this is the map. I could pull up the map with it too. I was like, what is this all? So let's do one at a time here. We'll save the map for last. We can look at some of these units here. So let's pull these counters out here. All right. So very thick as to be expected um, from Worthington at this point. Individually die cut. Very nice. Very thick. Counters look good. Light infantry we're looking at. We're looking at some heavy infantry. Looks like, uh, so we're getting silhouettes, right? So we're not getting the full artwork. We're getting silhouettes. Heavy infantry, heavy cavalry. Um, I assume maybe an attack defense value. Elephants over here, obviously. Leaders. Or camp. Army loss, initiative, combat value. Okay, all right, very interesting. So, and it looks like we have, the focus is gonna be on red and blue. Looks like a bunch of different, yeah, so primarily red and then blue units. Um, wonder if in the future maybe have different colors as well, who knows? Just for a little more variety in the colors, but very nice, very simple. Um, not getting, like I said, you're not getting the full color So it's something of uh, Great Battles of History, all the games. I do like the fact that you have, like, color, actual, like, color illustrations of all the units. This looks a little more generic, a little more on the generic side, but you're also covering um, 3,000 years of battles in one game. So they'd have to do something like that, right, to make it a little more generic. You can't just have legionaries on here, right, even though you can tell that's a legionary. Um, they have to make it a little bit more, well, it's a heavy infantry. It could be anybody. You know, it could be a Viking heavy infantry. Well, it doesn't look like it, but... You gotta do we gotta do right to encompass that much history in one game. So I I understand. All right. Of course we have the plastic molded um, uh, counter tray, card tray, everything like that. That's again that's what Worthington has been doing, which is fantastic. So some cubes. I have no idea what they're for, but they're in the game. Ah, we have some little uh, little holders for your those unit. Remember the uh, the leaders, excuse me. So the stand up. You know leaders look like they stand up. Looks like you'd have this. I'm sure you can just set them down if you want to. You don't have to stand them up in here if you're afraid of tearing up your counters, but it is there. Some baggies, of course. Very nice. Ooh, and then we look at the cards. So each side gets a full deck, and it's a that's a big deck of cards here. So let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. Let's see. Okay, so no, no easy strip to open them. You know me, I'm all weird about that. I'm always like looking for that easy strip to like should we can peel it and pull it open quick. But, in the end, I think we can get this one open without too much fussle, right? Um, as you guys watch me open cards and stuff, it's always exciting for the viewers. Watch people open cards. There we go. There we go. I got it. Hey, no big deal. Nice and easy. All right. So, look at our cards. Big stack of cards. Big deck of cards. All right. Let's look at the backs first. Got the logo on there. Dawn of Battle. Very nice. They look, yep, they are linen finish cards, if you can kind of see that. They have a nice linen finish to them. So they're all the same backing. Yeah, this is a this is a big bundle of cards here. All right. And I assume they're all the same, because I don't think there's events. I think it's literally, well, there are events. God of War. Back to Arms. Confusion. Tragedy, except we're not going to go through all of them. 12-hour <laughs> video here where we go through each card. Um, so the melee results, tables here on the side, command, tragedy is an event. The die roll, right? So see, uh, so maybe the what die roll? There is no dice. It is that part uh, on the blurry card where it listed dice or whatever. I think it's because you can see the bottom here. Yep. See, you know, two, 
four, five, etc. So very nice. It'll be card based. You're going to be flipping cards to, with actions to resolve certain things. Again, I've not played the game, but obviously it's pretty obvious there. Let's go ahead and check out this map. Um, I'll see if I need to. see if I need to pause it while I open it up, but I don't think so. So it's going to be a big mounted map. Whoa. I'm like, whoa, this is, this is nice. Of course it's so again. Yeah. It's as you can see big mounted map, right guys. You can see as I'm putting it up here. Boom. It is actually upside down for me, but so without messing up the camera too much, I'm not going to move the camera this time. I don't think because the tra there's not a big trade difference because we're looking at ancients battles and most of them didn't have a ton of terrain involved. Some did though, which is why I believe they talk about having um, an expansion with terrain. So you can see the uh, battle, it has elephant effect table, unit size effects, army panic track. And again, it has turn track and it has, you can see the units front, you know, the facing aspect of it. So really like this. Each hex is very large actually, if you guys can, can see, I mean, of course you can see, but let's grab, so let's grab a couple heavy infantry here. So if you set them here, I mean, I don't know if it's, I assume it's only one unit per hex, but look at these bad boys. These units just right in there, in that hex, and you, plenty of room to maneuver around. Very interesting. I wonder why the hexes are so big. So big. I wonder if uh, they're supposed to be, they're allowed to have multiple units per hex, maybe? I don't know. I haven't read the, I haven't even read the rules. I think, oh, well, I kind of looked through them, but I, I did not get to read them because there's a PDF available of them. But anyway, for some reason on the camera right now, it's looking a little... Hang on, let me just see if I can adjust the light here. So it's looking, yeah, it looks a little, there we go. Looks a little washed out. It's actually a nice rich green here as I'm looking at it. Again, no terrain right now. So most of the battles, all the battles right now are gonna be on this um, kind of just a regular battlefield, right? A very like generic battlefield. It's gonna be relying on your units, your leaders to establish, you know, hey, who's gonna win, who's gonna lose. But very exciting. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing, this recon. We're definitely at uh, hip two and a half minutes. We are at the time. So this is Dawn of Battle by Mike Nagel, published by Worthington. Can't wait to dig into this one. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I was excited. I was just looking, I'm looking at the components right now. I'm already getting into it right now. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you like what you see, if you've played it already, if you've got it coming, if it's already arrived, you've already started pushing on counters, please let me know what you think below. Um, otherwise, if this is something that interests you, um, go ahead and let me know that as well. So until next time, guys, later.